it's Sunday and it's video day. I'm back with another Python project. This one is a easy and simple project. We will build a digital clock using Python. And the good thing about this project is we will not need to install any libraries. It's a, we will use a package called tkinter and it's a built-in package that comes with Python. So that's the good part about this project. So let me start by sharing the screen and let's begin. All right. Here, as you can see on the left hand side, we have my medium home page. So on the right side, we have the text editor that I will be using for this project. And here is the article that was published on Towards Data Science, which is an amazing publication that you should check out. Uh, they have around 500,000 followers, as you can see, which is an amazing number for such a great publication. So let's move on. Here is the article that I published on Medium and I start by telling what is Python and then we are importing the libraries that we will use for this project and then we will design the application window and then we will write a function and then we will run the application and that's it. So let's move on as you can see python is a general purpose programming language that is becoming ever more popular for analyzing data and then let's start by importing the libraries so if you want to learn more about the package check this link and it's the official documentation page that you can check out and see what else you can do with this package. So for today, we will just build a simple digital clock that runs on, on the computer. All right, I just imported the libraries. By the way, we can go ahead and save this and let's rename it digital clock dot pi so that it knows that it's a python file as you can see it's much understandable now all right that was it for the libraries and designing the window first we are defining the window and then we will do the design part so here is the code. You can just go ahead and copy that. So what's happening over here is we are defining the library that we just imported. And then we're adding a title for the window that we will use for the digital clock. And here, as you can understand, it's the size of the window. It's 350 pixels to 150. And finally, for resizability, we are uh, going to make it 0 to 0, which means we don't want the window to be resized. Otherwise, our custom design will not work properly. OK, so let's move on. Here we will design the inside of the window. So what are we doing in this line? We are defining the font that we will be using. We want our digital clock to look nice. So we should find a nice font. 
and then the size of the font and if we want it bold or italic or any kind of uh, font design and then we are defining a variable called background which is gonna be the background color of our digital clock and then the foreground which means the color of the text and then lastly the border width this is also in pixels let's move on and here we are combining all these variables and running the label function so we are telling that we will use this window and then we want to use these properties as our interior design so the good part about this you can change the values over here and you don't have to touch the main function over here so it's a more easier way to play with the values and see how it works other than that we are telling the grid 0 to 1 nothing complicated over here let's move on okay in this step we are gonna write the function where we will do the time let's see let's copy that I, re I named my function digital clock you can rename it to something else if you want and then we are getting the time the live time using the time package that we imported which is also a built-in package that comes with Python and this is the format that we want to use you can also play with this it depends how you want to design your digital clock and then over here we are assigning the time to time and just passing the value and over here what's happening is we are refreshing the label every 200 milliseconds the digital clock is getting updated so that it's up to date and showing the real time to us otherwise what's the point right so and finally we will run the function i mean the application which means it's we will call the function that we defined if you don't call the function it's not gonna work right so these are some basics of programming after you define the function you have to call the function which will trigger the function to work okay here i am calling the function and then i'm putting the window in a main loop which means it's gonna keep working and stay on the page on my screen until i click the exit key so that's all let's save our program let's make sure everything looks clean and let's go ahead and open the terminal window I will go to the project to my documents what does it calling and then digital clock Python let's run there it is as you can see our digital clock is working and it's live the current time in Chicago is 242 so 
that's all. As I mentioned, it's a simple project, but it's a great project to get started with building a application by just using Python, nothing else, nothing external. And if you want to clock, if you want to close the window, we just go ahead and click on that escape key. So I will add the link for the article in my description part of this video where you can find. I will also add the contact me link, which means you can feel free to reach me if you have any questions while implementing the code. I try to find some time and reply back to you. And that's it. Feel free to check my Medium page. I have published lots of articles about great projects, machine learning, artificial intelligence, building a prediction model in Python. So this kind of cool projects. And yeah, that's it for this week. I hope to see you in the next week's video. Until then, happy programming and stay safe. Bye. See you guys.